So this next one needs a little bit of an introduction, and uh, I think we are familiar with, or if we've heard, it was the night before Christmas, a very famous poem that's been around for almost 200 years. Um, but this arrangement has actually become sort of, uh, not, not a Tower tradition, we have our different tradition towards the end, but this is a tradition for, for many, for many, many bands, uh, and it's been around for decades. This has been around for almost 50 years now, uh, this arrangement. And what they do, what this arranger did long, took the poem that we know so well, so near and dear probably had it read to us many, many times as children, um, if not, maybe read to your children, and we put it to a musical band setting. So we have a narrator that speaks the poem while we are doing things musically, so it's trying to depict what's going on through the text through our band. So without further ado, um, we have uh, a wonderful narrator for you. The band decided this year to have our narrator come from our faculty, and from our English department, we please welcome to the stage Mr. Eric Martin. were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Coursers 
they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Well, oh, Dasher, well, oh, Dancer, well, oh, Prancer and Vixen, on oh, Comet, on oh, Cupid, on oh, Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Dash away, dash away, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. And his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. And the smoke, it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Sight. Happy Christmas to all!